what is up guys how you guys doing it is 8 8 today so make sure you guys are doing your rituals you guys are clearing out the things that you don't want um bringing in the things that you do want today okay the lion's gate portal only opens once a year this is the time for you guys to really be clear on what you want and go towards that okay now as everybody knows, when I do the pre-shuffle for my readings, um, I let YouTube randomly select a song. And it was BB Rehab, or whatever her name is, and it was I'm Gonna Show You Crazy. By the way, this is a Divine Feminine reading. We're just going to see the, uh, uh, the energy surrounding the Divine Feminine. Uh... I just want to say thank you guys for all the love and support you have shown my channel. If this resonates, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you know when all of my future readings come out. If you would like a personal, all that information is in the description box. But the song was BB or whatever, I'm going to show you crazy. And what I started channeling was like, I feel like a lot of these divine feminines have been in a relationship or in a situation or a connection where it's like, somebody's like, no, you're just too crazy. You just be speaking your mind like too much or you, 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 you go off on me or whatever it is. And, and then it makes you overthink like, well, maybe there's something wrong with me. And it's like, no, just because you're standing your ground and knowing what you deserve, people want to sit here and make it out like you're crazy for not accepting any less than what the fuck you deserve no and that's kind of like what the song is saying like um if you want crazy well i'll show you straight psychopath fucking crazy because there's nothing wrong with me she says i'm an overthinker you know but there's nothing wrong with me and I feel like somebody out here was dealing either with a narcissist or with somebody who would try to make them feel like they were the crazy one because they know what they deserve because they're not putting up with no bullshit. And then it has you thinking like, oh, maybe there is something wrong with me. There's not. Okay. There's nothing wrong with you for knowing what the fuck you deserve and not accepting any less. Let me just make that clear. I don't know. That might be for somebody. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Divine Feminine Energy, Spirit, Ancestors, and Guides. The Unknown. Knowing the unknown, key to intimacy. Intimate love is a core need to be met in relation to ourselves and those closest to us. The journey to intimacy often includes learning what love is not. Right? Okay. So this is definitely... This is what I'm saying. Somebody was dealing with somebody that would gaslight a situation and make somebody feel like it's like they would do shit. And then when you would react to the things that they were doing, they would sit there and make you and, and blame you and make it out like it's you a narcissist a gaslighter you know what i'm saying and it's like this taught you what love is not it's like this person was a true like selfish ass manipulating ass person okay this doesn't even have to be a relationship it could be have been a parent you know what i'm saying it was like there you were dealing with somebody okay and it was like they were not good for you and spirit there would be things that you were wondering about this person or that you would overthink and and they would try to make you feel like you were the issue and then your spirit guides would bring you like the sign type shit like okay say um you were wondering if your person is cheating on you and they live a t somebody's a town over like say your sister's like just happens to have to go to some job a town over and just happens to be at the same stop sign with your person at that very minute it's like the divine timing type answers like your spirit guides make things clear for you um it's like you didn't have to do a lot of digging to figure out what this person had going on. You know what I'm saying? And then when you would find out the shit that they had going on, they would literally try to make it you feel like it was you. You know what I'm saying? This person could have also tried to use sex to, like, make things right. But look, bottom of the deck, it was like you were just constantly running around in circles with this person. It was like there was no winning with this person. Um... 
going around and around and around and it says clarity begins in the eye of the storm so it was like it was like one thing made, was made clear to you and then spirit guides brought another thing about this person to you and then another thing and it was like wow it was so hurtful and it, and you were going fucking through it but even through this storm it was bringing you clarity on on this person and on this situation you know what i'm saying and it was teaching you that this isn't love this isn't love this isn't um this isn't and this could have been even from childhood, but this this taught you that this isn't what you want. You want true love. You know what I'm saying? You don't want somebody that does things and then plays victims and blames you. You know? And then makes it out like you're the fucking crazy one. And you're like, okay, bitch, I'm going to show you crazy. <laughs> you know, like... Come on, man. That's some bullshit. I was in a narcissistic relationship with my karmic. He's the children, my father's children, um, for a long time. About 13, 14 years. And it's the hardest to get out of because they, they also are following over from a previous lifetime, right? You've dealt with them in a previous lifetime also. And the karma has rolled over into this lifetime. A karmic knows how to manipulate you just as well as as anybody else it's harder than a twin flame twin flame journeys are hard roller coaster as soon as i got out of my karmic relationship i got into it with got in a twin my twin flame union you know and the karmic with your twin flame it's like no fighting no intentional pain you know but with that karmic that karmic's gonna do whatever the fuck it takes to hurt you to keep you stuck to them tied and it's like me and him are cool now because we have kids and stuff but it's ter it, I, I've been there. You know what I'm saying? I've been there. That's not that's not what love is. Let's see. Divine feminine energy at this time, spirit, ancestors, and guides. Temptation. Okay? And that falls over the unknown. So you're ready to give into temptation. You're ready to walk out into the unknown and, you know, start something new. You're ready for new love. You're ready to leave this narcissist, this ex in the past, whoever this is, and move on towards hell. What makes, and it's like, it could start like, it's like, I don't even want love right now. I just want to like get some good, some good D and, you know, just enjoy myself, give into temptation for once, live a little bit. And step into the unknown. Step out of my comfort zone for a little while. You know what I'm saying? And that's actually a beautiful thing. It really actually is. Let's see what else this Divine Feminine is going through under this key to intimacy spirit. Sadness. Okay, and that falls under that key to intimacy where you learned what love is not, right? Because the memories of this person brings up a very hard time for you. You know, because it's like not only were they trying to make it out like you were the issue and you were the problem, they were doing all of these things. You were finding out all these things about this person that was building up that were more and more hurtful at the time. That were teaching you that this is not love. And it was fucking hard for you. It put you through a time of sadness and depression. But you're come, you're like done with that. You're realizing like through time and space and energy. It's like that wasn't fucking love. That was a fucking nightmare. So we have take off your masks, going in circles, with, with going in circles, clarity reigns in the eye of the storm, taking off your mask. So that's where that clarity came from. It was like everything about this person was revealed. Do you realize that this person is fake as fuck, selfish as fuck, manipulative as fuck, nothing they really ever told you was true, they were living a double life, all of that bullshit, you know what I'm saying, whatever it was, and it was made, like, it was like the harder it got, the more clear the, the spirit guides made it to you that this person is not for you, right? 
And that's where you were like, you know what? I'm not going to conform or be whoever the fuck you want me to be. I'm trying to keep, you know, you always make it out like I'm crazy. So I'm not trying to say nothing and I'm trying to hold my peace. But you know what? Nah, fuck that. Now I'm taking off my mask because I'm tired of running around in circles with your motherfucking ass. And I'm finna show you crazy. Get the fuck on. Get the fuck out. Shit. You know what I'm saying? Like that. Shit. Hell yeah. You want to? Okay. I know who you are now. Now let me show you me bitch no no i don't condone you know it is what it is hell be yourself fuck that the universe made you the universe does not want you to conform to this type of society the universe wants you to be you unapologetically and i will continue to be i don't give a damn i'm a divine but i i am also human and i have feelings and i know what i deserve yeah, so this person made you feel like you were fated to suffer. You know what I'm saying? It was like you might have even prayed to get out of this relationship, right? It was like, oh, my God, can can I just please get out of this situation? Am I stuck with this person forever? It's because it, whenever you try to walk away, they would pull you back in with their manipulative bullshit, try to make you feel guilty, try to make it, you feel like you were the fucking problem. And it's like you are not the problem, right? And you were in this connection and you still felt very, very alone. You know what I'm saying? Even though you were laying next to somebody every day, even though you had, you know, the title that you have are in a relationship, you felt very fucking alone. And you were like, damn, I don't want to be stuck in this forever. I don't want to be with this person. I don't do, is this what I want to deal with for the rest of my life? Fated to suffer? If you stick around, fuck no. Feeling very, very alone? Hell no. You want to move forward. You want that true love. And that was not giving it to you. Divine feminine energy at this time. Spirit, ancestors, and guides. Let's see. Walking away. I cannot make this shit up. So you motherfucking turned your back and you walked away from this situation. Nine on the top towards your wish fulfillment. Towards your own fulfillment. Fuck doing what makes everybody else happy. Fuck being stuck in this situation where I'm always to blame for other people's narcissism. Fuck no. And you, you turn your back. You're walking the fuck away from that. And that is a damn good thing. Keep fucking walking divine fam because look you are very loving you are very giving that what you have to offer this person didn't fucking deserve at all whatsoever for four at the top you're walking straight into somebody that's going to see your worth and love you the way you deserve the same way you love that's some bullshit what this person did. And Spirit is saying, when you walk away from this person, you are walking straight into somebody that's going to love you. But this other person, I promise they're going to do what it takes. Start fights, start arguments. I just heard see you at a bar. Like, uh, they might see you out and about with your new person and try to fight your new person. This is really, like, what might be happening. But at the end of the day, it's like, you know what? You realizing, look, spirit come through. You got the attachment and the yin-yang right there and storm warning. So you have a karmic energy, a jealous, envious karmic energy. This is that past narcissist and your twin flame soulmate coming in in your energies. And then you have that surrounded by hostilities and storm warning. I'm telling you, this other motherfucking, this karmic, this narcissist is going to try to, like, I'm telling you, see y'all out in public. This is like the type of creepy ass stalker ass person that's like, oh, she over here at this place. I'm finna pull up over there and literally try to fight your new person. People be hating in the comments like, oh, I can't stand tarot readers. Y'all be stirring the pot like when I had one that was like, this person's going to try to fight. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't stirring the fucking pot. I'm reading the cards how they come out. You literally have storm warning and hostility surrounded by this. I can't make this shit up. I let spirit guide me. Don't be jealous because spirit's not guiding you. Okay? Fuck. Anywho. Now that I got that out the way. Okay, so, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're walking into something quite beautiful, Divine Femme, but you have to really let this narcissist go. Like, that's what I am seeing, okay? 
very soon. You need to clearly decide what you want so it'll come to you now, which is letting go of that. I feel like you've already like let go of that person, but this person doesn't want to let go of you. Calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. You've manifested this new person. What am I saying? Like I just literally said that. You're letting go of a karmic and bringing in your soulmate, manifesting your soulmate. Let go of control issues. Just allow this to like to unfold naturally. But I feel like this is you letting go of a controlling person here. Somebody that was very deceptive, right? Um, and look, you're going... I cannot make this shit up and going towards new love. So this is what I'm saying. I feel like you're letting go of this controlling, deceptive ass person. And you have manifested this soulmate, this new love that's coming in. I can't make this shit up. Okay? That's what I have for you, Divine Femme. If that resonates, comment below. Let me know. Until next time, my loves. Peace.